Hi guys, welcome to Multiverse. Today I will show you how to get a free crafting station for your base or a free R&D station. So let's get started. So as with all the, uh, the amenities in your base, you have to gather collections. In this case, it is collections from Gotham and it is Arkham's personal collection. And you even see the little crafting station to the right of the screen. So usually that's a, that gives you an idea of what the the, uh, the amenity will be, or what the reward will be. Although if you look underneath for the phobias, I couldn't tell you if it's the mailbox, the respect station, or the broker. So we'll figure it out once we get there. So basically we need 10 collections from Arkham's personal collection. The first one is Killer Croc's Tooth. The, the other one is Penguin's Monocle. Clayface Modeling Clay. Victor Zaz's shirt, Scarecrow's hat, Two Faces face cream, The Mad Hatter's bow tie, Aaron's cash wristwash, The Ventriloquist's wood polish, and Batman's grapple hook, or grapple hook, anyway. So these are the 10 collections you need in order to be able to have a nice crafting station in your base. Some of you will ask where or oh, where can we get those collections? The short answer, you can buy them from the broker if you want to, or you have to farm for collections on Arkham Island. So basically, the, for those of you who just want to know how to get the, the crafting station, you just have to gather those 10 collections. For the rest of you, we are going to go farm for those collections, so let's get started. So where or oh, where can we farm for those collections? Very simple, it's on Arkham Island. Uh, this is probably my least favorite place to farm for collections. The island is pretty big and uh, the collections don't seem to spawn all that much. It, although, although it's been a long time since I've been here, so maybe it changed. But uh, way back when, I remember sometimes when I would farm for 15, 20, 30 minutes and not get a single collection. And I, it's not as if other players were, were getting the collections before me. It was like 4 a.m., there was no one else in the game, there was no one else on Arkham Island, and I could not get a freaking collection. So if there is one place where I strongly suggest that you use your radar and answer, it would be here. So for those of you who may not know, the radar and answer lasts 15 minutes and it will allow us to be able to see the collections. It also allows us to see investigations and briefings, but today we're mainly focused on collections. I should probably make a video about the radar and answers and how you can also get investigation and briefing. I might do that in the future. So let's use one of our radars since we have a stack of them that I never use. And let's get started. So the first thing is that Arkham Island is a pretty darn big place. You're going to see that in just a minute. So covering the old area can take some time. After a while, you kind of figure out where most of the collections usually spawn, but that's no, that's no guarantee. So I'll do a quick, uh, quick run around the island to give you an idea of uh, how big it is in case you've never been here. And also I'm going to try to make sure to see the edge uh, so that I don't end up missing a collection by accident. There's a few places where collections usually will spawn, but uh, it's been a while, so I won't take any chances in case there were some changes or I maybe I'm misremembering. But roughly, you just have to go around uh, Arkham Island and you look for those collections. Uh, let's go see uh, at the end of the bridge, just in case. I didn't think so, but just in case. Would have been nice if they had made the bridge so that once you reach the end of the bridge, you can teleport like to Gala, to Metropolis or something, or some, some other area. Oh well. Maybe if they ever make uh, this Universe Online uh, 3 or something. So you, we can start first collection. So obviously you have to look for the uh, question marks on the minimap. And once you see it, you can also hear it. As you can see, or as you can hear. 
So let's assume you're, you're not using a radar. You could just fly around and, and uh, turn up the volume. And also if you use a headphones, even better. It will help you uh, hear those collections. So usually there's a few around here, but I guess not today. So it's a pretty big area. Uh, collections don't seem to spawn all that much for some reason. Maybe I'm just not, not lucky. It happens. Also here, it's an area for evil villains. So if you get too close as a hero, uh, uh, you might get in trouble. And sadly, even if you're a hero player, uh, most NPCs will attack you. Even though technically uh, these are missions for villains, the NPCs will also attack heroes. And of course, as with most uh, areas, if you farm for collections, you're going to get more than just the, the collections for the R&D station. So when you're going to, to farm for the R&D station, you will farm for a couple of uh, different collections as well. So you're going to be able to uh, multitask, I guess. And of course, obviously, if you don't have all the briefings and investigations, you're going to be able to get uh, some of those, if not all of those. So ideally, you want to keep an eye on the minimap, although sometimes uh, if you get distracted by looking elsewhere, uh, it could happen that you sort of see a... Uh, a question mark to the edge of the minimap and kind of miss it because you're looking elsewhere at the very same time, it happens. Or if you're talking too much and uh, not paying enough attention to the minimap, uh, that could happen too. If you're a hero, you probably didn't play much missions on this uh, in this area. If you're an evil villain, obviously, uh, and if you're past uh, tier 4, uh, you guys know, uh, know the area pretty well by now. So depending if you play a hero or a villain, you may know the island uh, a bit better. Although heroes had to fight uh, one of the more bots here, so... I guess even as a hero, you should be somewhat familiar with the island. Uh, let's go see over here just for, for fun. So here there's the, that's the bridge that brings us uh, back to, uh, to Gotham. Well, we're not going to, to go too far. So you see there's a... I forget it was a briefing or investigation, but... So with your radar, you should be able to spot those as well. So again, you should be able to multitask uh, if you have a fairly new character. Or even an old one where you never bothered to pick up all the investigations. Could happen. Oh. So again, if you listen closely, you'll hear uh, you'll hear exhibits, and you'll hear you'll hear uh, collections. I think investigations also make some sort of noise, but I, I forget uh, what it sounds like. So as you saw, there's an evil villain nearby. Usually around the plant here, there should be a few that might spawn. Sometimes there's some at the very end of the uh, the platform over there. But I guess not today. So the area is pretty big and uh, the collection don't seem to, to spawn all that much. So don't be surprised if, uh, if sometimes you farm and farm and farm 
and don't get many of those collections. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, this is probably my least favorite place uh, where to farm for collections. Uh, one tip I would strongly suggest, it would be uh, farm for collections uh, for Steelworks instead. Sell those on the broker and then use that money to buy uh, the collections from uh, Arkham Island. Uh, it'll, be, it'll be much better for your sanity. Obviously, if you're a free-to-play player or a premium player, then you have no choice. Yeah, you're gonna have to farm and farm and farm here until you can get all uh, all the collections you need. It's sad, but that's how it goes. So in the end, you end up uh, paying uh, either way. Either you pay with uh, with money to try to speed up the process, like you pay uh, a subscription and then you use a broker to be able to sell and purchase collections from the broker or you pay with your time by spending a lot a lot a lot of time looking for collections so if you're more rich with money you may decide to just pay for a subscription and use a broker if you're not so rich with money but you have a lot of time a lot of free time uh, then you may decide to pay with your time you, you decide Often there's people who wonder why uh, some people spend a lot of money on games like uh, Eastern Universe Online instead of just playing a darn thing. Uh, usually the answer is quite simple. Either if you value your your time more than your money, then you won't be, you won't mind uh, spending money on a game as much. And it, it's usually simple math. Like uh, let's say you you let's say you make uh, ten bucks an hour wherever it is you work well uh, one hour of work will will pay for your subscription which will allow you to use a broker and possibly get uh, collections uh, from the broker as opposed to farming for the very same collections you're gonna spend hours and hours and hours so at the end of the day it'll probably be cheaper to just spend the 10 bucks than to, than to spend uh, countless hours of farming Although you're still going to have to farm, but not quite as much, thanks to being able to use a broker. So you decide if you value your time uh, more, then you're going, you're going to spend uh, money, uh, let's say, to subscribe, or you're going to spend money on the on an escrow token. And if not, then you're going to spend a lot of time uh, farming uh, for collections. And obviously, as you can see, this looks very, very different than the version of Arkham they have on the Gotham TV show, which is a bit sad. This is a pretty, it's not quite the same as in the comics, but it's pretty close to the classic version of Arkham. Of course, that evolved through the years, so who knows? Who knows what Arkham Asylum will look like in uh, 10 years or in a future game? Maybe in this universe online too, who knows? Uh, personally, I don't think they will make uh, they would make a this universe online too. They would probably just try. Be, be, they would probably be worried to to lose all all their core fan base, their hardcore pl uh, players. Although we never know, stranger things have happened. Uh, personally, if they were to make a uh, DC Universe Online two, I hope that they would give us access to everything we've purchased in DC Universe Online 1. Now, I, like, I would be really sad to have to purchase the Batman Call again and uh, and to have to open a whole bunch of time capsules again to get the, the styles I had, like the Batman Beyond styles, or... I guess if they were to make it in uh, DC Universe Online 2, 
I wouldn't mind as long as they would give us access to everything we've purchased. But if we would have to start start from scratch again, uh, I I wouldn't I wouldn't be uh, very happy about that. I guess I've spent too much time and too much uh, too much cash uh, gathering all the styles that I've gathered uh, through the years. So I would be a little unhappy if I if they made a new game and we lost all of that. No. Too close, too close. Oh, it's one of the things that would probably drive me crazy if I was a big uh, Destiny fan. Like, I played Destiny 1 uh, a little bit, but I didn't farm it, uh, I didn't grind it very much. I mostly played it uh, just for fun once in a while. So I didn't care too much to have to, to start again with uh, Destiny 2. But uh, if the same happened with, uh, let's say, DC Universe Online, if they launched uh, DC Universe Online 2 and we had to start from scratch again and lose all our progress, well, losing the progress, I wouldn't mind as much. But I would very, I'd be, I would be very unhappy to lose uh, all the styles that I've uh, purchased through the years. I think we have uh, someone else looking for collections, maybe. Unless he's only playing uh, his tier four missions, well, that could be. So I'm sure you guys get an idea by now at how big the area is and uh, how it takes a while before we get a single collection. And imagine we have to gather 10 of those and there's like three, maybe four different collections on the island. So if you want to have a, a free uh, R&D station for your, uh, for your base, a free crafting station for your base, uh, be prepared to do a lot, a lot, a lot of farming. Or to have no choice but to use a broker at least a little bit. At the end of the day, you decide that you want to spend a lot of time farming for collections or are you sp are you willing to spend a little money in order to be able to spend uh, not as much time? Oh, our radar is gone. Also, another reason for me using the radar is that uh, I could easily farm and farm and farm for a long time and uh, not stop. So the radar gives me a time when I, I can, okay, well, enough farming, let's stop and let's go, uh, let's go sell some collections. So sadly, as I feared, we did not get many collections and we did not get any from uh, the collections we were looking for. As you can see, we got some Asylum Contraband and we got some Phobias collections and that is it. We got uh, basically five collections total. So farming for collections on Arkham Island I was going to say it's a nightmare, and I guess it is. So sadly, no need to use a broker for Arkham's collection today. Maybe next time. So sadly, that's pretty much how you can get a free crafting station or a free R&D station in your base. You have to gather all 10 collections. If for some reason you don't want to do that, you can purchase a crafting station on the, the marketplace to put in your base. And concerning the crafting station, there is also a portable crafting station that you can purchase on the marketplace if you want to. So you could decide to purchase the portable crafting station and not purchase the, the crafting station for your base. 
uh, you decide. But again, the, por the portable workstation is uh, 10 bucks, if I recall correctly. So you could, and you could get the, the crafting station for your base for free if you gather all 10 collections. So you decide. The portable workstation is not super useful. Like I don't use it all that often, but once in a while it, it is convenient to have it uh, in, in your inventory. So you decide if you want to, to have it. So again, either you purchase the portable workstation, either you purchase the R&D station from the marketplace, or you could farm for the 10 collections to get the free R&D station for your base if you want to. You decide. So that's pretty much it for now, guys. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask so in the comment section down below, and I'll see what I can do about answering your questions. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.